All right, you're so next. Let's try trying to draw. 500 viewers to do. Hi, viewers to do. Okay, Swiddler, Jeffrey. Jeffrey played very enterprising slash bad chess. Uh, H6 is a little weird. A4 is a little weird. And then G5. God damn. Yeah, that didn't work out for Jeffrey. I mean, G5 is okay. But H4 is a really good move, putting the test of the pawn there. And actually, every knight move is good because the knight can go to D2 in here or it can go here. And I mean, there's not really a safe place for the king, so Jeffrey just never castled. But this didn't achieve, you know, what he wanted it to achieve. Probably a better idea, which I don't think was possible this game, was to wait for white to castle and then play G5. If white hasn't castled yet, I think this idea is shallow and pedantic. Okay, now E7 is also a strange move. Yeah, so this position is just really bad for black. You know, it was big, big advantage for white. Pawn structure, terrible. Weak D6 pawn. Two bishops, what else? This bishop, not good. The king's not good. More space in the center. This knight can easily go to F5 or attack this pawn. E5. It's a very bad position for black. Um, okay, Jeffrey played queen E7, which is engine approved. And bishop takes F6. Arena and I didn't like. It's fine. White's still better. But I think it's too early to cash in. I think white should do something to improve his position. King b1. Knight f1. Um, even f3, but never play f3 so that you can try to win a pawn or get the open g file. Bishop b3, so the bishop is safe. Yeah, I think this is, this is too early. You shouldn't, you shouldn't get up your bishop here so willy-nilly. In this position... Jeffrey went on a strange journey, which I don't understand, I don't agree with, and I vehemently disagree with it, right? And, you know, vehemently is a word not only do you not know, but you, if you do know, you still can't spell it. And if you're in the chat saying, I know vehemently, no, you don't. You, you don't know anything. The one thing you should know how to do is donate. You don't know how to do that either. There's one guy who knows how to do it. Mm -hmm. Why King B1 exactly? What, what what did I deserve to get this flat, flavorless Manhattan? Why King B1? Ugh. Terrible. Pineapple's the best. If you don't think so, you're banned. Uh, let's see. There we go. Yeah. That's why King B1. God damn. And you spell vehemently worse than uh, you spell carburetor. The only way to spell carburetor correctly is to go look it up and then copy and paste it. Yeah, if you're like, oh, I can spell carburetor. No, you can't. Terrible. You know, you spelled it wrong on purpose, and it was still, like, better than most people. Yeah. It's a very famous song by Jim Croce. Carburetor. Oh, could you help me fix this car? Da, 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 da. I was driving it lately. Da, 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 da. Thank you for your time. You've been so much more than kind. The mechanic said I owed him 10 dimes. Da, 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 da. Good joke, you know what a dime is. Eh. Car and burrito is correct. God damn. No, I don't like the blues. That's why I made the board not blue. How is that an English word? I still spelled it wrong. <laughs> Nobody spelled it correctly in the chat yet. I mean, most people are kidding, but the ones who aren't kidding are also spelling it wrong. Yeah. You know what a dime bag is? That's that's different. I mean, like when you bet a dime on a game. Yeah. You literally looked it up. Yeah. Da, da, da. Yeah, Bert, Bert 8800 is correct. Yeah. 
What am I drinking? The tears of all the opponents I've checkmated. Mmm. And also, some of Scott Tenderman's tears are in here, too. They're delicious. Thanks, Cartman. Okay. So he took with the bishop, which is correct. And now, I was shocked and appalled by the move that he made. Also, his move's terrible. Um, he should either take this and mess up the pawns, or take this and keep his lovely bishop. And he took this. And I was shocked. That's not a move I would even consider. Frankly, it's terrible. Yeah. Now White's winning because uh, this is such a bad move. Oh, God, why, why you activate the rook and put your bishop on a dumb square? Okay, so knight e3 is fine. Nothing wrong with that. Bishop f6 is correct. It's important in chess to go here, 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 and then have a bad pawn structure and weaknesses everywhere, and your king's in the center. That's important to do that. R Queen d2, which is okay, but again, he's trying to cash in too early. He shouldn't be thinking about queen here and takes. That's not what he should be thinking about. He should be thinking either RBs. No. He should play g3, f4, or he should play rook e1 and try to play knife f5 or knight d5. Yeah, queen d2 slow. h5, I was, again, shocked by such a move. King b1, always play king b1. h4, also mildly surprising. Rook hg1. Okay, so white's doing pretty well. Bishop g5 is forced. Now, before, when Crush and I were doing commentary, we were looking at this. And the problem is you can't pin, the, you can't, if you pin the knight and I castle, f4 doesn't win because I'm threatening your queen. In fact, black wins now. Um, so that's why Svidler played rook, rook he1. He's threatening knight f5, which does win, if you take it. If you don't take it, even better, because then, you know, you're getting... Getting Irina crushed over there. Okay, so bishop g5 pinning the knight. That's the correct move. And once again, uh, was it this position? Uh, no, no. He played bishop b3, which is okay. Um, not the best move. Queen d4 is pretty logical. e5 is a good pawn sack because it's sort of like Steinitz's <clears throat> d5 in the, you know, the game from uh, Hastings 1895. Because you, you, you give yourself the e4 square for your knight, which is really good. And you try to open up the e line. So e5 is actually the best move. Yeah, knight e4, queen d3. Yeah, and this is tough for black. Because, you know, every, everything is good, good. Yeah, very bad position for black. Uh, he played bishop, he played um, bishop e3, I thought. Like, I can't read. I was elected to lead, not to read. Oh, he did play queen takes. Yeah, this is this is a very bad move. So every time Svidler cashed in, he was more like phoning it in, giving up the bishop pair to, to win a pawn, which he didn't win, and then trading queens when this king is terrible and it's never going to be safe. He needed to go forward in the center, but he wanted to cash in. But yeah, now black's knight is great. The king is safe. Two bishops. You know, this is probably a draw with correct play now. This is, Queen takes d6 was terrible. Yeah, h3 is good. Great move. Yeah, activate all of his pieces. Two bishops. King is perfectly safe. The knights have no entry squares. Okay, black has good prophylaxis, right? Now, you know, Jeffrey's 20, so a lot of what he's thinking about other than chess is prophylaxis. Okay. <clears throat> knife f5, always play knife f5. Rook d8, excellent. Get rid of white's only good piece. Hides his king. I don't like that move, but I do like hiding the king. But I don't like that move. Jeffrey sacks another pawn, which I thought was crazy. But then he played the amazing bishop c8. Not to attack the knight, which it does, but to play rook h2 with tremendous counterplay. And I showed this position to Trump. And I said, what do you think of Black's counterplay? He said, tremendous. He said, a lot of people are talking about Black's counterplay. So there you go. Eric is a real person subscribed. Good, good. The longer I've subscribed, the more money you get. Eric is a real person. That sounds very familiar. Wink. All right. 
Schwang. What Schwang said, it was a good one. I, I can't read the chat. I'm making too many jokes. Queen d4 is a good move. There's nothing wrong with it. Have you ever played Kasparov? I have not. Okay. Um, knight c5. The engine prefers rook g1, attacking the bishop, which he did later. And then he played rook g1. Never play f6. No, he played f6. Okay. And now, um, Svidler wanted to get active, so he sacrificed a pawn. Because this pawn's probably going to be lost anyway. It's hard to protect it. This rook is great. Bishops are great. Knight is great. These pieces are all shallow and pedantic. They can't go anywhere. Um, the engine doesn't like f4, but it's a pretty human move. If you want to be like a baby, which isn't bad, then you could play knight d1. Defends the pawn, but, you know, the knight is obviously very bad on d1. So he decided not to do that because knight's terrible there. So he played f4, got his rook active. And then bishop e3 is just... You know, during the game, I was like, okay, maybe Svidler will win. But bishop e3, then I knew it was going to be a draw. That move is so good. Tax the knight, defends the a-pawn forever, so there's none of this business that I thought was going to happen. I thought Jeffrey would move his bishop, and then the, the a-pawn's defenseless. It was sort of like Karen on her third date. There's, there's no way to stop the, you know, from, from getting crushed. Uh, terrible. Okay, so this is an excellent move, and now, now it's just a draw. Yeah, now, you, know, you got to be kidding me now. I don't think white's better here. Yeah, I'd rather have black here. Two bishops, what else? Threats everywhere. Yeah, and white has nothing. White, white, you know, if Fiddler was Indian, which he might be because he loves cricket, he would have Vishwa nothing. Terrible. Let's see. Uh, where is my Vishwa nothing? I haven't used that in a while. Man, I can't even find it. That's how often I use it. <clears throat> I can't imagine liking cricket. I can't. Can you beat Kasparov today? Let me see if I... I could. I could hit him over the head with a bottle. Yeah. I can always beat Kasparov, but, you know, I'm not the favorite. Anybody can beat anybody. I've played Anon many times. Many, 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 many times. Many. I have played Capablanca. Yeah. I couldn't see him because he was the invisible Capablanca. All right. Yeah, the plates, like, I got to move like five feet. I'm not doing that. That's funny. There's paper plates on top of that plate. That's funny. Okay. So they found a repetition draw by reputation tax the a pawn check tax the a pawn check draw always repeat yeah white's not better here at all king is great bishop's great rook's great pawns are defended knight has nowhere good to go knight's defending this pawn yeah so a draw was a fair result yeah but i mean jeffrey was much worse and or lost the whole game he defended well and I think Svidler's bishop f6 was bad and queen d6 was very bad. Never cash in. Hold hold it. Hold it until, well, I don't know. Uh, let's see. Go MVL. 500 cents to dues. Hey, farty party. What's between check and checkmate? I'm supposed to make a joke now, I guess. You got to know when to hold them. Yeah. Man, I was like, uh, on the second date, I was like, come on, Karen. And she said, you got to know when to hold them. Know when to fold them. I was like, damn, terrible. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see if Karen's texted me. She has. <laughs> that's barely funny 
trying to learn. Barely. Uh, memory palaces. I did go to the palace at Auburn Hills to see, you know, Pistons. And I also saw... I might have seen David Bowie and Nine Inch Nails there. But that might have been the Silver Dome. I think it was the. I think it was the Palace. I think it was the Palace. Definitely saw the Pistons play at the Palace. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> What's this mean? Check it. Made in checkmate. What? <laughs> R.I.P. the Palace, R.I.P. the Silver Dome. Isn't Bishop takes Knight and Rook takes E4 winning? It's better for White, if that's what you meant. But Black's down a pawn and has a pawn hanging with check. So if you if you did this, you, you, you know, then Black's in a lot of trouble. Black's losing. Yeah. Also, after this, that might even be better. Because after, cause after King takes... Rook here check is, is going to equalize, but yeah, that, now white's better because white's a pawn. It's a draw, but after here, I can actually win your A pawn, get a passed A pawn. So the answer is fries. 